Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. So as you can see, we are here with our Traction King and both of our wagons. And uh, you can see our money is down a bit. Uh, talked with our salesman, Rob, here. And uh, he actually knew of two trucks that had just come up for sale. And uh, so, wrote him out a check, and uh, actually, they are both sitting down here. Uh, we picked up two um, Chevy C60s, or C70s, sorry, uh, C70 grain trucks, um, both tandem axle, and uh, got both of them for 20000 so it actually came from a co-op and they just didn't have a use for them anymore uh, we're not going to take them home just yet um, the dealership is going to go through them for us um, well one of them uh, this one has to be gone through yet uh, they just pulled this one out and this one got a clip clear bean wow English a clean bill of health there we go um, but they had a couple other projects they had to get in quick and so they're not gonna get to this one but uh, I said we can just bring this setup down and we'll take the finished one back and then we'll come back later and get that other truck so um, we're gonna go ahead and sell these And that gave us 91,000, so we're up to 123,000 now. So, we're going to go ahead and take this guy back to the farm and uh, get him parked. And then we're going to go spread some lime on our canola fields there. And then uh, I think that's going to be the last thing we do until harvest so definitely uh, getting excited for that to come pretty nice grain truck it would definitely gonna be a big help um, having more storage and uh, so it'll be nice and the extra money really helps too and the fact that we got these both for a pretty decent price, I mean, 20000 for two trucks, that seemed uh, too good to pass up. So, too fast, apparently. All right. So, we're just going to pull this in somewhere. We'll find a place for it. I guess we can just bring it around where the wagons were. Perfect. So yeah, this is uh, definitely going to help us out around here. It'll be nice to uh, have that around. So, let's go, we're going to go spread our lime and then uh, we'll come back and we'll clean up the yard a little bit here. Get uh, some equipment washed up and parked and probably wash our pickup too, that's getting a little dirty. Let's get after it here. So we're not too far off, which is nice. So 
So we shouldn't need to use too terribly much of our lime here. Definitely going to make quick work of this. <laughs> it's the nice thing about having these big spreaders on these smaller fields is it definitely does not uh, take long to do. And it'll work out perfect because by the time we're done, we'll have our uh, spreader emptied out enough to where we can uh, put the cover back on and then we'll just leave the lime in it because we aren't going to need it for anything else until we spread lime in the spring so um, we can just keep it in there and the tarp will help keep it uh, keep the elements away from it throughout the winter and the rest of this fall so we got a good tarp on it so won't have to worry too much about it don't think we'll be able to get all of that in one so we're gonna have to try and kind of make a half pass here so that way we can get all of it down this last pass. Perfect. And that task is finished. We'll get that tarped. And we'll get everything washed up now. Shut that guy off. We'll grab this. And we're gonna back the liquid trailer back into the building.
this unhooked. Alright, so we can get all of this stuff here washed up. Uh, let's bring this back up. Perfect. So, we're going to take this, let's back it over here in front of the Quonset again, just so it's out of the way. Let's not hit the pole though. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we only used about three quarter of uh, our spreader here, so it worked out pretty good. ran our pellet forks right over. We just gotta grab the roller, bring that over. Not gonna worry about hooking hydraulics up or anything like that. We're just taking them over to wash. Let's see if we can make this corner here. Okay, now this can get parked. it so we can go ahead and uh, put this guy back inside because this guy is I think done for the year ok 
Okay. All that we got left to put away is just that uh, seed wagon. We can take care of that. Ah, we can take care of that right now, quick. Let's do that. I'll use the uh, skid steer to put that away. And then we can use the pickup and bring the corn header trailer up here. far. Again. <laughs> okay, let's back up and try and straighten this thing out here. It is a lot nicer to use the uh, skid steer, but it is also a little bit tricky. Set that there. We're going to put the pallet forks back inside so they're out of our way. We're going to put them in the main part of the shop. And we can get this all closed up. We'll probably close up the uh, Quonset too for now. Perfect. Get that closed up. Close that. And come back here and turn off the light. There's that all closed up. Let's go down here. We'll shut this. Okay, one last thing to do, and that's bring the corn head up here, where we can get at it easier with the combine. I don't even know where in the world the hitch is. It's somewhere here in the grass. Well, we were close enough, I guess. So that works. OK. 
Okay, right there should work. And I think we can get back to... Oh, maybe we can't get back to this other trailer here. Well, I think that one's fine right there. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just park this up at the house for now. And uh, that'll be it for today until we get ready for some harvest. Um, and I gotta kind of gotta wait around too for our uh, truck to be done. Okay, our fan is still on, so that is good. All right, well, folks little shorter video today but uh, not a lot going around going on around here today so we got the main things done that we needed and uh, that's gonna do it so thanks everybody for tuning in today and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one